Hey guys, welcome again to my channel. This is Brandstacks TV. And so recently we were having some issues with logging into the Google account in some of the steps that I created from my previous video. So right now I'll be showing you another steps or method in order for us to successfully install Google services in our Huawei phones. So let's jump into it. <music> So we are back again guys now I just want to uh, you know um, let you see that I have successfully installed it here so I have here the Play Store I'm just hold my phone like this and as you can see you now it works fine and I have here YouTube app and as you can see that works as well and then I will show you as well that I have uh, added, you know, um, a couple of accounts here. So there. All right. So for this purpose, okay, I'll go ahead and uh, reset my phone again, so I, I can exactly show you how this would, you know, or how this is being done again and that we will go to the settings and then system and updates press on the reset option so the same thing it's just the reset thing and then go to reset the phone so as you can see there's the uh, two accounts I have there so I created a uh, number lock on it so let me just confirm it really quick and now it's erasing everything on the phone so just like what we did before um, so that time it was via high suite so that that was you know using my PC here to restore the backup but in this case right now I also would like to show you how to uh, do it via the uh, USB or on-the-go USB method or, or OTG is, is what we call it all right um, we're just waiting for the uh, phone to reset and while waiting for that so I have the links again at the bottom or in my description and you could download the files and it should look like this so the folder name is uh, QSM login method so QSM is actually named after the uh, um, application that we'll be using to log in later uh, that's the quick shortcut um, maker application and within that folder we have another three sub folders so we have the backup file for high suite if you want to use your pc to back up the uh, lz play app or via the otg restore which we will be doing right now and we have here the google service apk and i have made some folders within it required apps would be the apps that we'll, we'll be installing as we go along and then we have here uh, some other folders that I named after the uh, steps so you can follow it uh, easily as you check on you know which step we are at at the moment okay so these are all the files so you can you know save that anywhere in your PC so that's pretty much you know something you need to do yourself and uh, I personally would again prefer to do save the files on your desktop so it would be easier to locate later so right now my phone here has just been reset it successfully so we're gonna need to set this up I'll just go ahead and set up the phone really quick hold on one second so pretty much you just need to follow whatever is on your screen for the setup process so we can go to the uh, phone's desktop uh, page 
or you know so we could uh, continue using the phone all right setting this up as a new device try gestures close it I'll do the three key navigation so it will be easier for us to navigate while doing this and later for the tutorial okay so now that the phone is ready I will go ahead and uh, insert the USB that I'll be using here this one it's the I mentioned USB 32 gig uh, you don't need you know that much space because the file itself is just actually lower than that or smaller than that which let me just check so you have an idea um how big is the file just 215 mb so any usb that can handle it should be good to go and also if you if you only have like the typical usb then you're also going to need to have an adapter um, from regular usb to usb c that transfers data so I'll just insert it back there. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. I'm just holding the phone with one hand. So here, I'll be inserting this um, USB. All right, there you go. And then let's open the phone. So I'll just say later for this. All right, so now um, I just have to explain the uh, the preparations for, um, that you need to do. Okay, so we can then uh, go forward with the steps. So for the preparations, um, we need to install the shortcut maker APK that I mentioned a while ago. So all the files that that I have downloaded, guys, is already inside this USB drive. So we can just access that through the files um, app. Hold on one second. Okay, here. So here, um, we just need to look for the folder we uh, saved here. It's the QSM login method folder. And it's under the uh, Google service APK and under required apps and you have here the quick shortcut maker apk installing that so just say allow install and done all right so now that we're done with the first one um also we're gonna need to uh uninstall the uh the the current backup um app that's on the phone right now by going to the apps and then apps again then just search for backup so let me just type it here backup and it may not show there because I have not yet shown the uh, system processes make sure you select that and there you can see the backup um, on the list so what I'm going to do is I will have this one for stop and uninstall. So basically, basically just uninstall it, you know. And once it's uninstalled, I go back to my files and I'll install this one that is the version 10 for backup. So the same thing, just allow, install, and then done. And it should be within your settings if you search for it later if you need to you know there back up and restore because that's what we need and uh, that's what's going to restore the backup for LZ play all right so after that um, this time we are going to go to the uh, proper uh, part of this uh, method and that would be the step one so step one guys is to restore the backup that um, 
you know we need so we can we can have the LZ play um, installed here on our phone so again for that we need to go to the settings search for backup and restore uh, in my case I already see it here so I'll just choose that and then data backup say next agree choose external storage and then USB storage okay so it it's not seeing the backup here so there's a need for us to actually move the file so so it will detect it right away so in this case I'll go to the root um, of my I mentioned drive since I have there the files so I'll go again to login method and then here in this backup for OTG restore folder we have this Huawei folder so just press and hold it or however you want to move it so in this case I'm going to move this to the root of my external drive so I'll choose iMation USB drive and then I'll press on the move option here so it says there's already a uh, folder there so I'm not sure why but I'm, I'm just gonna say yes or merge because that folder actually does not have anything in it because I I am sure that I formatted um, formatted this USB drive before I save the files in there so I'm done with that now let me go back to the backup and restore option and see if we can now okay there you go so I can now see the uh, backup here so it may say SP40 Pro but my system or this uh, phone unit that I have here is actually the Mate 30 Pro so it's still gonna work and it's already tested by the way alright so apps and data and then restore so you just need to put in the password and the password would be the same as the uh, password tip here so just say or just you know literally copy it all right and then say okay okay so the restore uh, process has been completed now click on done and now we will be uh, proceeding to the step two but before that make sure that you launch this uh, Google um, no sorry it's the LZ play app with a G logo in it and another thing is before we launch that um, we just have to make sure we're, we are you know connected to the internet so in this case I'll be using my Wi-Fi here so let me just connect really quick one moment mm -hmm. all right so I'm just connecting to my Wi-Fi it's trying to connect now and so we are connected so if there's any prompts to update guys just say later later so it won't break our you know whatever the process we're doing right now so since we're done with that so I'm gonna continue to click on this LG play logo and then just say activate allow and then um, when you're on this page just click on the home menu and clear your memory just clear it launch it again and then press on this blue button here and just let it stay like that so just leave it as is in the background so I'll just click on the home button and now we're ready for the step two so now that we have been connected to the uh, internet uh, step three uh, sorry we're done with the step two that was actually connecting to the internet and uh, launching the LZ play logo uh, app or logo now we are on step three 
and that would be to install all the APK files under the step 3 folder and in that case we need to go here uh, USB drive then look for the QSM login method folder um, Google service APK step 3 folder okay so we have five APK files here now I'll just install them so this is one All right two three four so the same thing guys you just need to allow install and then wait for it so once it's done you can then click on the uh, done button like this and the last one the fifth one allow install and wait for it done okay <coughs> excuse me <coughs> one second sorry about that all right so now that we have already installed all the AP, uh, apk files in that folder so we're now going to proceed to the next step and uh, so in this case step four is to use the uh, uh, app that we just installed a while ago which is this one it's the quick shortcut maker app let's just open it and then here we need to uh, look for Google account manager so all I need to do is just to uh, scroll down and uh, find for it so it's around here uh, here all right so it should say Google account manager the GSF login just tap on it and then in this um, page here there's a lot of them but you need to look for the uh, description that, sh that should say exactly like this it has the uh, com dot google dot android dot gsf dot login dot login activity and that's what we need to tap on and then hit on try all right so you will have this option here um but you actually need to click on this three dots menu on the upper right hand so you can choose to uh browser sign in then you will have this prompt say okay on this part it's the part where we could add the account okay so let me just add mine here really quick So if you notice guys, um, the last time we were, you know, um, to go to the settings and then go to users and accounts or something like that so we can add this. But this time we're using this app so we could go to this browser sign in thing. It's almost done. Give me just a few more seconds here. It's still asking for the password. Hold on really quick. Okay. So as you can see, I have this um, couldn't sign in error here. So what I'm gonna do is just to tap on next, just to retry it, you know, just leave it that way so it's trying to sign in but you know it have it has that error so i'll just gonna leave that in the background while it's doing that and then we have to proceed to the uh step five okay so in step five we just need to install the uh, uh file that we save under the uh, folder that says st uh, step five as well so let me go back and then 
let's go to this folder here apk's folder and then we have step 5 folder all right so just install it normally as you install uh, the others so that's it and then you will see this starts popping up so that actually means that we were able to uh, add our account successfully so to check let's go to the settings and then go under users and accounts and here you will see this Google icon because it's already here and it's syncing um, some of the items that we have for this so all right now that we have added uh, one of the accounts um, I'll try to add some of my other accounts as well and see if this works from this part here so I can show you Google okay let me add the other one hold on one second <coughs> so almost done give me a few more seconds here seems like it's not letting me but uh, it was a while ago though anyways um, this is already good for me uh, as, as long as I have my main account added here so this is just for showing you uh, kind of purposes so you can you know explore and uh, try to add more accounts later in your rent it's up to you but in this case I have already shown you that it was able to add one of my accounts so that's good and uh, all right we'll proceed to the next step now um, we need to um, open Play Store and then see if this works and it does all right so it works it has my account in there as you can see although you know we have these um, errors popping up but that's fine just leave it as is for now and uh, <coughs> let's go ahead and uh, proceed to the next step which is going to be to install the Google Play services and to do that we have to go to the settings the usual thing apps apps and then let's see let's search for it Google show system processes and look for Google services here so make sure to uninstall it okay tap on it and uninstall it it should be Google Play services all right so now that it's uninstalled we need to uninstall or install this time the um, mod to fix um, file that we have in our folder which is going to be a uh, step number six folder in this case open it and then just install it as usual allow install and then say done all right so now we'll need to open this uh, play store application as well to see if it's working let's close let's, let's clear the uh, memory and it's still working and now we have to reboot our phone all right we're starting it now and we'll wait for it so let's just wait for it to uh, <clears throat> turn on again 
and then we'll proceed to the uh, next step. <coughs> I'll also, um, I also would like to remind you guys that up in this um, moment right now on the step 7, uh, we will still be seeing errors and we'll just ignore it for now because that's really, you know, normal normal at this point okay just at this point so now we'll open play store since we have restarted the phone and then let's install five to six applications so this is very important guys i'll do you know google related applications in this case and my delivery app as well so I have now what uh, three and then four five <coughs> six and while it's installing this <coughs> excuse me so while it's installing this um, we have to leave it in the background and then um, we're gonna need to search for the services framework uh, for Google so same thing let's go to the apps apps search for Google always show this um, system process and then look for the framework which is at the bottom here so what we're going to do is to clear its data so we're going to need to go to storage and then click on clear data okay <coughs> now we need to go back to play store and uh, at this point we'll need to wait for all the uh, applications we installed to uh, get done so once it's done then we'll proceed to the next step So let's see, it's still installing. Let's check if we still have anything ongoing. Seems like everything has been installed here, as you can see. <coughs> so now everything is installed and uh, we're gonna need to uh, restart again our phone, okay? Um, actually, since it's working, unless it's not, then we need to restart. Okay, so let me correct myself on there. Since it's still working, so I'll just proceed and uh, try again to install two more applications. Just to be sure. Uh, where's that bit? Here. Okay, so let's wait and see. Once it's done, then I'll go ahead and proceed with the restart thing. Waiting for it. seems like it's done okay so now let me clear my phone's memory and restart it and now it's restarting <coughs> we're almost done guys okay sorry for you know taking this long you just really need to do this step by step and I you know I wanna do my best to uh, explain as well as we go along so it would be clear for everyone following the steps all right so now we're gonna open again the Play Store app 
and we're just gonna check you know uh, let's try installing any apps on here mm, just anything let me see I'll choose also the one that's going to be not something that I'll be using in this case uh, I'll just do food panda installing let's see if that works seems like it is working and at this point on step 8 we should not be having any more the uh, play protect alert message and as you can see that's also the case and our application has now been installed successfully without any issues right and that is absolutely great now we're on the last step in this case guys we need to uninstall Google Play services so let's go to the apps option apps on the top and search for Google services as well or apps here and so again we're gonna be uninstalling Google Play services here uninstall that just say deactivate and uninstall and then confirm by saying OK and it's done as well as the Google account manager here uninstalling and done alright so now we need to install one more APK file and this is the same file we have under this let me see hold on one moment sorry about that apk okay and then should be under <coughs> six i guess yeah uh, gms.std actually we're looking for the gms it's the google services um, app sorry for the delay okay it's the one under the the, the step 3 folder uh, it's the gms.std APK it's the uh, Google Play services actually so let's just install that <coughs> installing here well waiting guys um, I just have to ask you a favor again if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do click on the subscribe button if you like the video click on the like icon as well and hit that notification bell and set to all notifications so you won't miss any of my uh, future uh, tutorial videos so that I'll be able to help you guys and help more people so we're done here with the installation and let's try So this time there should be no errors anymore. So let's launch this Google Play App Store and see if it's still working. So it's still working, which is good. All right. Uh, let's see if we can still um, find a app and install it. Let's say Snapshot or Snapchat or Snapchat, whatever it is. All right, so as you can see, it's still working up at this ninth step. And the last step is the step number 10, which is to say we're done. So guys, yes, observe that. We're done. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. So we're good to go. So I'll just have to give this 
a uh, reboot for the last time and I'll show you if it's still be working or not so you you can tell if this is effective or not okay <coughs> It's coming up. All right. Let's see. Do we have any errors here? You see, none. I launched the uh, Play Store app as well. Any errors? None. So I'll let me install you YouTube app if I haven't yet. Installing this app here and then I'll let you see if it's gonna play videos any videos but I'm not gonna show the uh, video itself so it would not cause any problem in this video of mine here I'll just let you hear the sound right so again this uh, phone unit guys is mate 30 Pro. The backup file you see a while ago was from a, a P40 Pro, and as you can see, it's still working. Everything looks good. So, here, guys. Um, sorry again about the the issues you've encountered in the past days. So, I really did not see that coming, to be honest. I just posted the video for just a day and then something happened and then now we, we got this other uh, method to uh, check on hopefully this would work as well in your end if if it don't work you know as you can see um, we're, we have uh, walked you through along the process so probably something might have been missed so we can just you know try it again so I'm trying to look for a uh, video that I can play here. Yeah. All right. Everything is working, guys. All right. And there you have the Play Store, some applications that I have here and <coughs> sorry about that I'm not feeling well today but I'm good okay not that bad so uh, some of the applications we installed earlier like the uh, LG play and some of the uh, you know apps you have installed just for the sake of checking if it's working you could uninstall it if you want and there you go everything works fine guys and so if this helps you please click on the like button if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe it would really help much my channel and i appreciate guys for watching this video and for spending time to uh check this new steps or method that i have for you so thank you again and see you in my next videos peace